Veggie Magnifique. Hello, I'm Anne from Veggie Magnifique, and today we are doing June favorites. Si vous êtes français, il y a des sous-titres, il faut juste cliquer sur le CC. So my number one favorite is Golden Milk, and it's from Pompey Paris, which is a new brand of Golden Milk. And what's cool about this is that it actually doesn't taste that much like Golden Milk, it just tastes really refreshing. It has a wonderful wide array of delightful ingredients, and it's cold pressed. It's made in Paris, and of course it's made without lactose, it's a vegan. There is one that isn't vegan, so be careful. So this one has pistachio, of course curcuma, which is turmeric, ginger, and then this one is a yuzu one, so it tastes a little bit more citrusy, and they have fleur d'oranger and black pepper. And it's gorgeous, and it comes in this great little bottle that you can reuse for other things. The only downside is that it costs a fortune, but it's delightful. My next favorite is Moringa Ayurveda. It's pitta, because I'm certainly a pitta, I'm just like, fire. <laughs> We're all a combination of factors, but I would say I'm largely a pitta. This is from Moringa & Co. We love Moringa & Co. because Moringa is one of the most nutrient-dense superfoods on the market. You can put it in curries, you can put it on salads or in salad dressings, and I love it because obviously it has different spices that are catered to my dosha, which is my Ayurvedic type. So there's cumin, fennel, coriander seed. Of course, the first ingredient is Moringa, which means it's packed with iron and calcium, etc., and a million wonderful things. And this is just an adorable little pack that you can use to get more Moringa into your life. So check out Moringa Ayurveda, and they have, of course, all the different doshas, and you can find your catered spice. So my next favorite is a documentary, Eating You Alive. And basically it's a documentary about ways to cure disease and to heal your body through diet and lifestyle. And it's very cogent and clear and all-encompassing of how you can be aware of what's going on and also how you can make better informed choices. It could provide you with information that could help you, your family, the health of your family. It is a brilliant documentary. As soon as I watched it, I like texted my family and said, you have to watch this right away. And then my parents watched it twice and it's fascinating. So definitely watch Eating You Alive. It is a must see and you don't want to miss it. Knowledge is power. My next favorite is an organic hibiscus tea. Chat beauté, which is a joke that I didn't get. My love had to explain it to me. So the chat beauté is Puss in Boots. So it's a joke in that it's cat organic tea. That's what it like ends up being in French. And of course it's the tea that is organic, but it's an infusion. Hibiscus is probably one of the richest source of antioxidants that you can find, and it's delicious. And lately in Paris, okay, well, right now it's raining cats and dogs, cats. <laughs> but last week and the week before, it was extremely hot, like canicule heat wave. And so we were drinking hibiscus tea with ice all the time, and it was absolutely delicious. So what you do is you put a couple tablespoons into a tea press the night before with a bunch of purified water, and the next morning you have delicious ruby red hibiscus tea. I suppose you could do this with boiling water and have a hot hibiscus tea, but then it might kill some of the enzymes. This is an almost empty package because we've been drinking this like it's going out of style. So. I love this brand, of course, because it's organic and it's cute and the whole shabby tea thing. It's pretty adorable. My next favorite is a book. It's called She Means Business by Carrie Green. So Carrie Green is a young entrepreneur, creator of the Female Entrepreneur Association, so they call it FEA. What I love about her isn't necessarily the whole pink and gold stuff. She embraces her pink, you know? She like owns it, which is cool, you know, be yourself, right? Is that she's pretty honest and transparent about her journey as an entrepreneur. So this book is kind of like a pep talk if you're an entrepreneur or even if you're just entertaining the idea of one day being an entrepreneur or having your own business or getting out of the nine to five working for the man thing. And what she does is she says, okay, you can do it too, and here's how. It's not like all the very specific nuts and bolts exactly. It's more, I'm gonna inspire you. This is how I have built my business. But mostly what I love about this book is that she talks about your mental game and how important it is to totally have your vision and to believe in what you're doing and different practices that you can have psychologically and kind of like quantumly to build the life of your dreams. I highly recommend you listen to the audiobook because she has this fantastic 
English accent and it's just darling. You could do both. You could do listen to the audio while reading the book. So I highly recommend this book. Carrie Green, she means business. Do you mean business? She does. My last favorite is chocolate. You guys are getting used to this by now, I guess. I'm into chocolate. So in the pink theme, we're talking about So Free vegan chocolate line from Plamil. And guys, I'm not into white chocolate, like it's not, I'm a chocolate purist. However, you can find pretty good vegan chocolate on the market these days, and I've talked about a lot of it. White chocolate, even if it is somewhat of a chocolate imposter, is difficult to find in a vegan version that's actually delicious. And I'm having visions of baking with it and putting it in like vegan frosting. And just by itself, what I've been doing is creating chocolate sandwiches. You put a little bit of white chocolate in the middle, and then dark chocolate on the bottom, and you have a chocolate sandwich. Ingenious, right? The ingredients, also a very international brand. Where is the language that I speak? So cocoa butter, rice powder, raw cane sugar, and natural vanilla flavoring. So this is pretty pure. <laughs> I challenge you to find a white chocolate that is purer than this, that is vegan and organic. Making the right choices for a sustainable planet since 1961. Awesome. We want a sustainable planet. So if you want a sustainable planet, you better eat some more chocolate. So those are my June favorites. If you have favorites, which of course you do, leave them in the comments below and let me know what you're currently into. I would love to hear about it. Join us over at the blog at veggiemanyfeet.com. It's in both French and English, so if you want it in a different language, let us know and we'll see what we can do. Of course, you can join us also on Instagram. We now have over a thousand followers on Facebook. Hooray! So we're really excited about that. So thanks so much for following us and being a part of the Veggie Manifique tribe and movement. So we'll catch you next time on Veggie Manifique TV. Like, subscribe, comment. We read all of your comments and we love them. So thank you. I hope this video finds you on a beach or in a tropical rainforest or something. Here I am in Paris with water damaged walls. But you know, la vie est belle. Yeah. Okay. This is that jasmine tea I told you about in the December favorites. It's so good.